Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing great. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. If you are yet to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So today, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a tie back maxi dress. So I'll be working with this off shoulder pattern. The dress is an, like an off shoulder, but it has a strap. Okay. So from the shoulder, I minus five and a half inch and that becomes my upper chest line. So on that upper chest line, I mark my shoulder measurement, which is 15 inches divided by two, give me 7.5. So that's the 7.5 measurement you're seeing there. So the next line is the chest line where I have my bust measurements. The bust I'm working with is 40 inches divided by four will give me 10 inches plus 1.5 seam allowance will give me 11 and a half, okay? So this is the bust point line on the bust line and the waist line. On the waist line, I have 1.5 that allowance and 1.5 seam allowance. The waist I'm working with is 32 divided by four will give me eight inches plus 1.5 that allowance will give me nine and a half plus 1.5 seam allowance will give me 11 inches. Now I have my nipple to nipple line. Can you see is nine inches divided by two will give me 4.5. So this is a 4.5 nipple to nipple line. I have at waist, on the bust, and bust point. So coming to the upper chest line, I mark five and a half against four and a half. Why I mark five and a half against four and a half is that I don't want my style line coming towards the, looking as if it's coming towards the center front. It looks funny, which I don't really like. So another thing I did is that, is that from the bust point, I came up by one inch, then at the Chest, upper chest line where I have that 5.5 mark, I connect to that one inch. The reason is that I don't want the bust point area looking pointed by the time I'm done making the dress. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm coming to the under bust. I tighten the under bust by one inch on each side of the nipple to nipple line. Okay, remember that I have a one and a half in, inch uh, inches uh, that allowance. So on each side of this nipple to nipple line, I have a uh, Three quarter and three quarter here. Okay, so the dart you're seeing here is um, the bust dart, which is the difference between the front half length and the back half length. The front half length is longer than the back half length by two inches. The front half length is eighteen inches, and the back half length is sixteen inches. So that is the dart you're seeing here. Okay. Now remember that I have uh, the uh, shoulder measurement on the upper chest line, and I connect that to the chest line where I have my bust uh, measurement to form my ample curve. So that's the curve you're seeing here, okay? I hope you're not confused. So that's that. So I curved for my bust curve. So that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to close the bust that, and I will transfer it to the upper chest line. So I'm going to open up this chest, uh, upper chest line here, this line you're seeing here, then close my bust that. So I'll go ahead and cut out my pattern. I'll open up the upper chest line this way. And stop at the bust point line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to close the bust that. So this is how to go about it. Can you see? Can you see? So I'm going to use paper tape to close it properly. So, looking at this side, you can see that it didn't align with this. There's a shortage here. Can you see? There's a shortage here. So, what I'm going to do is to connect back to the chest line this way. Can you see? Can you see? So, the next thing I'm going to do now is to 
cut out the waistline and cut out the that I have there. So I'll go ahead and add my handhold uh, 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 seam allowance of 0 0.5. Can you see? So this is our front pattern. Can you see? So when I'm transferring to my fabric, I'm going to add a 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 here to join the two pieces together. So this is the fabric I'll be working with. I have more than three yards here, but three, three yards is should be super enough for you if the length of your fabric is, is by 60. So this is a back pattern, just like the front from the shoulder, it came down by five and a half. There becomes the upper chest line. And here becomes the chest line where I have the bust, bust measurements, okay? And here is my waist line. So I connect the, the upper chest line to the chest line this way to form my cuff. And the dart I have around the waist is just one inch dart allowance. The bag does not have any zipper allowance because there won't be any zipper at this upper part. Even at, if at, at the whole of the dress, there won't be any a zipper at all so the next thing i'm going to do is just to cut out the pattern now for this back i'll also i'll i'm going to minus half inch from the waist sorry i'm going to minus one inch from the waistline so that the, my back become the way at length becomes a 15 inches from the waistline, I'll go up by one inch and I'll minus one inch. Please, what am I even saying? I'll minus one inch from the half length. Okay. So the half length now becomes 15 inches. That is how much I want to reveal at the back. So I'm going to cut this off, okay? So I'll go ahead and cut out the armhole, adding my 0 0.5 seam allowance. Can you see? So I'll go ahead and cut this out. Okay, I'm not going to cut it out. I'll just fold it in when transferring to my fabric. So I've already folded the one inch in, can you see? So I forgot to tighten the upper chest line because if you don't do that, you will notice that the upper chest line will be too wide and it will be gaping. And not only that, your shoulder strap will be falling off your shoulder, okay? So what I'm going to do now is from this side, from the armhole side, I'm going to go in by two inches and connect back to the armhole this way. Can you see? And for the front, I'll do the same at the front, coming by two inches, connect back to the armhole. So this will enable my upper chest line not to be gaping and also my, uh, my 
strap will not be falling off my shoulder. So I'll go ahead and cut this off. So I'll use this pattern and I'll, I'll use this pattern to cut out uh, my fabric. So I've gone ahead to cut out the upper parts of the dress. Can you see? So this is the front. I also use the same fabric to cut the lining. Can you see? Can you see? So and for the back okay for the strap i cut out a i cut out 12 inches the 12 inches is a for the front and the back you know i came down by five in five and a half for the front and also for the back plus one inch uh, seam allowance and the width is a uh, two inches on four okay So this is the back, and you see, another uh, thing I did for the back is that I eliminate the, that at the back because I felt that there's no point adding that at the waist since I'm going to be tying the back. So what I did is just to mark the, that allowance I have around the, the waistline, then I cut it off. So I also use the same fabric to cut the lining for the back. Can you see? Now for the belt that will be at the back, I've gone ahead to cut cut out a long piece of the fabric that we'll be using for the belt. And the length is a 35 inches. Okay. The length is a so a 35 inches so this is how i'm going to be placing it can you see this is how it's going to look at the back can you see there's the back itself and there's the belt so what i want to do now is i'll go further and shaping the the belt so at the edge here I'm going to taper it so I'm going to come down this side I'm going to come down by let's say six inches can you see what I'm doing and I'll connect back to this other side so watch what I'll be doing this is the two belts can you see I'm going to from here connect back to this side. I want to give it a shape of the belt. The shape that belts normally have. Okay. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I'll go for that to slant it. So at this point, I'll go in by let's say one and a half inch, and I'll connect back to this point. Can you see? So this 
side, I will pick this side, this side. I'm going to be attaching this side to the center part this way. Can you see? Can you see? So that's the center back. I'm going to be stitching this to the center back. So for the lower part of the gown, I'm going ahead to cut it out. I measured two yards of fabric and I cut it into two. That is 36. Each piece is 36. Each piece is 36. So for the length, the length of the front is 45 inches and the length of the back is a 46 and a half. Why the back is longer than the front is that the back is going to have a elastic at the waist. So that 1.5 uh, extra I added to the length is to create a channel where I will be inserting the elastic. So this is my elastic. Can you see? And I'll also be fixing side pocket to it. So I'll go ahead and cut my side pockets. So since the back, the lower back is going to have elastic, the uh, lower front, I'm going to gather it. Okay, remember I said there won't be any zipper on this dress. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut the pockets. So I'm going to be folding my fabric into four. So the length of the pocket is going to be 9 inches. So I'll mark 9 inches. So this is my 9 inches. So what I'm going to do next is to place my hand this way and I'll form I'll mark the shape of my hand. Can you see? Can you see? So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So what I'm going to do next is to go and fix the pocket on the lower part of the gown. Then insert my elastic, cover the upper part, and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done joining the upper part of the gown. Can you see? So this is the upper front. And this is the lining. Can you see? Then there is the back, the upper back with the belt. Can you see? And there is the second piece. Can you see? Now, if you don't want to join your belt and the back, what you're going to do is just to place your pattern on your fabric, then you extend to the length that you want that will accommodate both your belt and your back. Okay? So that's that. So for the lower part of the gown, I've gone ahead to fix the elastic at the back. So this is the back part of the lower gown, of the lower part of the gown. This is the back part. This is the elastic. And I've also gathered the front part. Can you see? And I've fixed the pockets. Can you see? 
leaving some inches up so by the time i'm done fixing this the front to the upper part of the gown i will now close the side properly okay so to join the back to the front what i'm going to do now is to place the front this way and you see then uh, place my the lining on top of it this way so i'll be fixing the strap for the front this way now you can see that i left one end open without fixing it i left one one uh, i left this end open this is for the front so what i'm going to do is to place it this way and you see use lining to cover it and for the second piece, I'm going to bring it to the front this way. Then I'm going to close by half inch. That is for the upper part, the chest part, the upper chest. Okay. I also close the armhole side and the second armhole. Okay. So when I'm done doing that, what will be left is the side now, the two sides for the front and the back. So what I'm going to do is to bring the front, the back to the front this way. Then I'll lift my lining up, then use it to cover the, the, the back and the front this way. That's the lining for the, the front now. Use it to cover the back this way. The, the back will be at the middle, can you see? Then I'll close by 1.5 seam allowance I left, I left, okay? And I'll do the same at the other side. Close it by 1.5 seam allowance. Then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to fix the upper front to the lower front. Then I'll come back and show you the finish look. So I'm done sewing as you can see. So this is how the back looks like. And this is how the front looks like. Can you see? Can you see? So this is the long part. see and that's the back there's the elastic you see so this is the finished look can you see so there's the back waist line you can see the elastic you can see and there is the effect of the one inch i removed from the half length of the back can you see so by the time i close the waist line the space becomes 1.5 can you see and there is the other side can you see and this is my belt you can see that my belt is looking very good that is how I want it. But if you want a tiny belt, you can go ahead and reduce to the size that you want. Then you connect it back to your center back. Then you have your tiny belt. So this is the front. Thank you so much for watching and see my next video.